Okay, you've completed the Star Suits tutorial and are now up in Bajini Point Space Station overlooking the plant below. Probably what you want to do now is go down to the uh, Expo Center and test fly some of those military ships that are available for free during the free fly event. Unfortunately, you're in space and the Expo Center is down there. How do you get there? Well, go back to the ASOP terminal where you just stored the tutorial ship. And you should have at least one other ship available to you. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. You're probably going to have to have it delivered to you. And it'll take about 20 seconds for it to get to the point where you can actually uh, have it, have the valet bring it to the uh, hangar for you. This apparently is a delay for their uh, database updates. Okay, vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. And if the panel doesn't update, you can look and see what uh, hangar it's in. Please visit us again. Goodbye. Except it didn't update. Let's try this again. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle there has been is, delivered to the following location again. The server just rebooted and it's a little, uh... It's having issues right now until everything settles down. Some of these elevator rides take longer than not, you might think, because the elevator is actually a physical entity that you're riding in. Unlike other games, it doesn't teleport you. Now, most ships have a little marker that tells you where you're supposed to press your F key for interaction pull up the menu to actually say, okay, here's where you enter, here's how you call the elevator, etc. And just like the tutorial, press R to bring it to flight ready status. Welcome. Your journey begins now. All systems operational. You are clear to launch. Oh, so you have to wait until the ship completely shuts down, or the, 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 the canopy's down, the seat's fully deployed, before the R key will work. Oh. Okay, this thing's a little bit, uh... It, this ship's a little more responsive than your Toro ship, so... If you get one of these as a loner, um, handle it gently. I am keeping the landing gear up on this ship. Oh, by the way, if you press F4, you get the third person view. I left the landing gear up because this particular ship, when the landing gear, or rather, I left the landing gear down. If the landing gear is up, the uh, wings take a little bit more space. Press F4 again, a couple of times to get back to the uh, cockpit view. And fly out into the middle of the donut of Bajini Point. And if you turn around, you'll notice that the uh, donut is tilted down towards the planet. It's tilted down Thank you. And please visit again. generally in the direction of Area 18, which is where you first spawned in the beginning of the tutorial. You press the B key, bring up the quantum drive, you'll see that there's a, uh, a pentagon, but that points downward. That's the landing area, standard marker for the for the uh, game. You put the quantum cursor over it, and once it's fully spooled and calibrated, press and hold B again. Quantum travel engaged. Now, if you're down near a planet, a lot of times the ship will pit, will uh, 
pitch upward before they start going to quantum. That's to help you go around the planet before you run into mountains. Then you dive down towards the planet again. Don't worry, you won't hit the ground, usually. What the stop is, it still has a little red marker saying, okay, there's where the your original destination was, but you're too close to jump to it anymore. Sometimes you leave this marker up just to help you find locations, particularly in the dark. I'm going to turn it off because it's a little uh, disconcerting, a little uh, distracting. I'm going to start flying down towards the planet, and I'm going to turn off the speed limiter, go a little bit faster. You notice that Area 18, which is where we first logged in, is underneath the clouds. That's going to make the uh, approach a little bit interesting. And let's start slowing down, got the speed limiter back on again. Now you notice right under, above my crosshairs, there's a little um, small building picking, up, uh, picking out out of the clouds. That is a building near where we first logged in. That's the Arcorp Tower. All the other buildings I found so far do not actually extend up into the clouds. But that one does, so it helps you get yourself oriented. However, although the quantum marker, the navigation marker, is us to where we logged in, we want to go back to the spaceport. Well, I happen to know that that's over in this direction, where we can see on our head-up display uh, the uh, pips of a bunch of other player ships. Uh, let's go up to about 15 to so degrees down angle as we go through the clouds. That way we will go, won't be going down too fast when we get to the bottom of them. And as we come through the clouds, you see, yes, we are above all the skyscrapers. Now, the Area 18 spaceport is that area big flat area with a lot of white paint and red paint. I'm going to wait till I get a little bit closer to call ATC. Now if you're a new pod, you may want to do a steeper approach. I like to come a little bit more shallow. It makes it a bit easier for me to actually get into my hangers. Okay, now that I'm Warning. over it, Safe zone. Exited. I will call ATC. Please proceed to assigned landing bank. And lower my landing gear before I forget. Landing gear engaged. Okay, slow down a bit until we find out where they're going to put us. Ah. Warning. Safe zone. Exited. And we're in one of the horizontal hangars, which are easier to get Warning. into. Warning. Safe zone. I find it Exited. Easier. Doors are starting to open as we approach. Now, until you get used to the, this game, you might press F4 to go into third person view to help you uh, navigate. And you can change your view around a little bit so that you either look right behind you or right above if you have to drop into a vertical hangar. I normally like to try fly in like I'm actually in the cockpit view. Although for vertical haters, I do switch to third person view. And there's some debris on the pad. Apparently somebody crashed not too long ago and they haven't cleaned it up yet. And he's down. Landing complete. Now it's a good idea when you land to press Landing I. Complete. Have a pleasant stay. The I keep to turn off your engines. Uh, it makes it helps the ship stick on the ground, particularly if you're outside in a windy area. Press Y to exit the ship. And see the doors are closing. Uh, most single place ships will automatically close the cockpit after you exit. If you don't, if it doesn't, you can always manually close the cockpit so somebody doesn't climb in while you're gone. Head for the big arrival sign. And then over to the hangar. There's 
me over to the elevator. <sighs> I used to know how to speak. Apparently I just have the wrong oxygen setting in this ship because my ability to speak has been impaired. Okay, I heard the elevator arrive and it says it's at my location. So let's call again. That'll get the doors open. Go up to the spaceport rather than lobby. And once again, the doors did not open automatically. There we go. Yeah, just like you did for the tutorial. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Go ahead and store your ship. That makes the hangar available for other people. And if you forget to do that, the uh, local law enforcement might give you a uh, fine. Now, the last day of the free fly, last couple of days, the Drake Company is going to have their expo down there. However, for most of the expo, we have to go follow the big Invictus signs to head to the uh, Bevic Convention Center. The in-game lores of the Drake Company does not have favor with the Navy, so they're not allowed to participate in the big Navy uh, expo. Drake um, ships have a reputation as being used by uh, unlawful people, pirates and smugglers and such. But they're actually fairly decent ships. I think they're better looking than a lot of the other ones. And we're going to go back to the same shuttle that we took over before, just following the Invictus signs. All the shuttles follow a um, triangular route during the convention. The habitation module, or habitation area, to the convention center, and the spaceport. And then back. So if you get on the wrong shuttle and it doesn't go to the convention center, just stay on it. The next stop will be the convention center. And straight ahead, well, you can briefly see a big skyscraper pointing through this up into the clouds. But the convention center is off to the side here. It's a big round building that you can actually see as you fly over the city. And you can actually fly down low over it and buzz it, but not too close. If you get too low, you get a warning from law enforcement to the no-fly area. But you can fly over it and people below can see you. Here's the Bevan Convention Center. Now arriving. Thanks for doing your part to keep the convention center closed. And the bunch of in-game lore you can read on the displays. If you're hungry or thirsty, grab a bite to eat and a drink. The convention itself is going to be up these stairs. Yes, the convention center is not wheelchair accessible. I guess with artificial limbs and everything, there's nothing to really need. Go up to these elevators, call the elevator, and then go down to the convention floor. Uh, every two days during the convention, a different set of manufacturers is going to come out and have ships that you can look at. These are all military, or primarily military ships. There's another convention later in the year where they have a bunch of non-military ships. You just run up to the uh, stairs, again, not wheelchair compliant. And all the ships available, or most of the ships available, you can actually uh, rent for free for 24 hours or possibly two days, it depends. And how you rent it is you just run up to it, press your F key if you interact with it, and click rent. And the price is zero United Earth credits. And there. Now you go out to the spaceport and fly it around. Even these big things you can rent. 
Anyway, that's how you get from the spaceport down to the convention center. I hope you enjoy the free fly event and Star Citizen. Have a nice day.